thousands gathered in Manhattan to celebrate New York City Pride. And in the wake of the bombshell decision by the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade, the march kicked off with Planned, Hood, Planned Parenthood, who led the parade. Well, News 12's John A. Caldwell was there and has more from the festivities. <laughs> A sea of colors lined Fifth Avenue today as people danced and marched to the beat, celebrating the 53rd annual NYC Pride March. I've been to New York before, but never here for Pride, so this is the first time I've been able to experience something like this, and it's pretty cool. But this year's parade is seeing a new urgency following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, reversing a nearly half century ruling that gave women the right to abortion. Many now fear other constitutional freedoms could also be on the chopping block. I think that this court precedent that was just set like is not going to stop at just abortion rights. Obviously, it's contraceptive rights, gay marriage, like anything like that. And it's like a very dangerous precedent that they're trying to set. This is happening in America and US is supposed to be an example right rather than you know go back to the the how to say like barbaric laws we won't back down we won't back down Planned Parenthood kicked off the parade at the starting line in the wake of that decision. They're criminalizing contraception. We will soon see coming for marriage equality. We will soon see coming for uh, other identities and rights that are connected to the 14th Amendment. We all have to be concerned. And as parade goers celebrate pride, they're also hoping to make their voices heard, standing in solidarity with everyone being impacted by that ruling. Justice Clarence Thomas is calling for the high court to reconsider same-sex marriage rulings. But parade goers say they won't stop stop fighting for their human rights that they deserve. In Manhattan, Johnny Caldwell, News 12.